YouTube, what's up? Dota here. I've uh, been meaning to make this video for a long time. It's going to be dealing with how I price my corn cob pipes. First and foremost, this video is going to be strictly regarding my pipes. Okay, so it's not about anybody else's. I'm not dogging anybody else, nothing like that. You know, this is just going to be strictly how I price my corn cob pipes. So, first off, I use Missouri Mission corn cob pipes only. The way I start off my pricing is automatically materials. So it's the corn cob pipe itself. Uh, is there any extra corn cob um, that's involved? Deer antler, uh, clear coat, stain, you know, the glue, all that stuff. All that goes into the pricing of the cob. So, for example, if I bought this country gentleman, uh, brand new, it's 10 bucks. And obviously there's websites out there that you can get this for a little cheaper than 10 bucks, a little bit more expensive than 10 bucks, but I'm just gonna use a nice round number of 10 bucks. Um, so right off the bat, if you want this country gentleman modified, automatically 10 bucks is added to the price. Now, depending on what you want done, that's what it'll kind of get going. My pipes that are a little more lower priced, I would say something like this. So this is a Missouri Meerschaum spindle. Hopefully you can see that clearly. But um, all I did was stain it. Uh, the shank right here, I added texture to it. And then I just switched out the bit, the stem. So like for this, I would charge like 15, 20 bucks extra. So you're looking at $10 for the pipe and then for the labor for staining and stuff. Uh, now stain, when it comes to staining, the way I do mine, is it's multiple layers. So it, I don't just get, you know, brown stain, slap it on there and then, hey, done, you know. Uh, and no offense anybody does that, I mean, that's fine. It's just, the way I like to do my stuff is I stain it, let it sit there overnight, uh, sand it off, restain it, let it sit there. So I like to, you know, it, it really seeps in there nice and it looks really nice, in my opinion, again. All this stuff is my opinion, by the way. <laughs> but, um. So yeah, this one you're looking at like $20, $25, you know? And that's just cause it's pretty much just stained, a little texture to the, the shank and that's it. You know, so this is like one of my cheaper ones. Then you kind of jump up to, you know, stuff like this. Uh, this is corn cob shank and it's plastered. So the difference between it being plastered and not being plastered, here's what I'm working on. So this is corn cob. <laughs> that has not, get some light in here. That has not been plastered. And this is corn cob that has been plastered. So it just fills in all the gaps, you know? As opposed to this one, you can see all the little notches in there, you know? Some people like them this way, where it's, you know, you can see all the grooves and some people like it, you know, where it's plastered. But the difference is when it's plastered, it, it's a ton more work, you know? Um, I gotta plaster it sand it, plaster it, sand it, stain it, and then from there it's back to staining it, sanding it, staining it, sanding it. So you know, if you wanna shank like this, it's gonna be a little bit more. So once you get into you know, the different shanks, stuff like that, um, like this one's got some design, kind of a plateau look on the top. Uh, you know, these bump up to like 30, $40, just depending on what you're wanting. Um, now again, you know, this is a Dagner poker. So that's like a $23 pipe. So if you're wanting, you know, plaster on a regular country gentleman as opposed to a Dagner cob, it's gonna, that the price is gonna differ a little bit, you know, cause this is usually a $10 pipe and this is a $23 pipe right off the bat and I haven't done anything to it. So again, that all factors into, you know, the price of it. Now here's a legend. That I'm, that I'm working on. Now, if I did, you know, plaster, somebody wanted plaster shank, corn cob shank on a legend, of course the legend is like five bucks-ish, five, six dollars. So that's gonna be a little cheaper compared to this Dagner. So if I did the exact same thing that I did to this Dagner, to this legend, obviously this one's gonna be a lot cheaper. You see what I mean? So I'm not, I'm still charging the same amount for labor. Just, it depends on all the materials, you know, mainly the bowl, real quick. So the Volcano, this is one of the originals that I did. It's not the best, I can do them way better now. But, um, so this is 
really a Mark. This is really a Mark Twain. Alrighty. So the bowl right here is a Mark Twain. But what I do is I flip it around and then look, it's a volcano shape. So I have to plug the, uh, look, look how horrible that plug is. This is a long, this is one of the first ones I ever made. So forgive me. I can, they went in very nicely now. But anyways, I have to plug this hole, redrill a new hole, plug the, what was originally the top. Now it's the bottom. And then I add the plateau look to it for all my, all my volcano cobs. So something like this, even though there's not like a corn cob shank or nothing like this, I mean, it's a lot of sanding, gluing, shaping, etc. So, you know, my volcano, my volcano cobs go for, I sell them for about, for 35 bucks. That's where they start off at. And if you want in the volcanoes with the, here's a, here's a volcano with the bamboo shank. And the bamboo, the, uh, it's lined with corn cob. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, it's got a, this is all corn cob inside, the, the bamboo. So something like this, you know, this bumps it up to, you know, this is probably a $45 cob. 40 to 45 bucks, just kind of depending on what you're wanting. But, you know, same thing. But again, the shank is what bumps up the price because it's, takes time you know so then they kind of jumped up to the next the next level I guess you could say and these are pipes that they take a, a long time but I am willing to to make them the more commission I don't just I usually don't make these just to kind of see what happens but uh, one of them is the Dynastrag so I made this for a couple, a couple years ago so this is pretty much a Mark Twain bowl Originally Mark Twain, right? So I flipped, I flipped it around, and then it's on this part. This is the top bowl. The bottom bowl is a. Do I even have one out here? The bottom of it is a Diplomat Apple. Alrighty. So pretty much, I'm molding these two together, kind of like that. And that's see, that's kind of the shape of the dinosaur rig. So molding these two pipes together to make one pipe. Which in turn it turns into this. So to get this perfectly smooth and I mean it's a ton of work. On top of that, it's got a corn cob shank that is plastered. So this is not um this takes a long time. It's a lot of sanding, it's a ton of sanding. So this type this pipe is 90 bucks what I usually charge for them. Um, and that's, again, I, I, that's why I don't really just make these to throw out there and see. I usually wait for these for as a commission. But yeah, this is a $90 pipe. I mean, it's it's a, a ton of work. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say it's still corn cob pipe at the end of the day, but it's it, it's just that weird thing. And I understand, I get that it's just a corn cob pipe, but I mean, I'm putting hours and hours and sanding and sanding and then the staining and, and the, the the shaping of the, the bowl, the shaping of the shank. Uh, I mean, it just takes a lot of time to make a pipe like this, you know? So even though, yes, it is just a corn cob pipe, at the end of the day, you know, if I'm putting this much time and effort into it, you know, I, I need to put that, that, that charge of labor into the pipe. So, I mean, I get it, they're corn cob pipes but a lot of work goes into these things, you know? Um, another one is uh, the Cobbelier. Uh, this is the very first one I made. Um, I've got a lot better. I, I'm working on two right now. Hopefully you can see my work's gotten better. But uh, yeah, so this is the one that I'm working on. Now this is a Missouri Mission Country Gentleman Bowl, the Cobb Pulley Kit from Aristocob.com. Now with these, I'm mean just a little, the button on the bottom, you gotta realize that um, this is made from, I mean, it originally looks like this, right? Then I get it to where it's kind of trimmed down like this. And then I gotta cut it to where it starts to look like this. I gotta pick all this stuff out. And then I shape it to this, alrighty. So just to 
this little plug, little plug on the bottom. I gotta shape it, and then I gotta plug it on the bottom. That's where I put my logo. So I gotta plug that part. Then I gotta make this the. I guess it's kind of a tenon type. Yeah, it's a tenon. It's not really part of the stem, but same concept. I gotta make that. I gotta glue that. Let it sit, and then I gotta plaster it. Okay, and plastering again is plastering it, sanding. Add a little bit more plaster where it didn't where it didn't settle and dry right. Sand it, and that's for this whole thing right here. All right, okay. So I'm not just getting the bowl and gluing it to this. I'm actually um, I kind of shape it to where it it sits on the bowl. Uh, it sits on the body a little bit more flush. Okay, and then I gotta plaster all of this because these don't come uh, plastered from the Zero Mission. The cop roller kits are they're a naked bowl, so I got I gotta do all that. And I gotta fit this on here, you know. I gotta add this, the mortise, I guess you could say. I gotta put that in there so it fits. So yeah, something like this, it just takes so, so long to do. Um, this is a $100 pipe, okay? And I, I know some of y'all are freaking out, but to, I mean, with all the, sh the sanding, the shaping, the plastering, the staining, I mean, it it's just a lot of time. Ton, a ton of time and it's it was really hard for me to charge that much for a corn cob pipe but it's just at the end of the day it's so much work it just has to kind of be worth my my time as well i mean i get i work a regular job you know uh, i work seven to four monday through friday the weekends obviously i like to do stuff with the family so it's just kind of one of those you know this isn't a pipe that um i'll you know use during the week i'll have like 30 minutes here 40 minutes there i mean that takes forever to make a pipe like this, 30 minutes to 40 minutes there. So on the weekends, I mean, I can knock out easily four or five hours working on a um, pipe, something like this, something like a cobbler. I mean, it takes up a lot of time. Um, here's another one. This is the Crown Royal. Uh, it's got corn cob stand, country gentleman bowl. Uh, this was entered uh, in cob foolery last year, I believe and you know bamboo shank forever stem um yeah something like this it, it doesn't look well i think it looks pretty pretty crazy i mean it's it stands the silhouette of it is to me this is the nicest pipe i've ever made not the hardest pipe i've ever made i mean it's definitely a challenge but it's just the silhouette of it i mean oh man this pipe's awesome <laughs> sorry not to be conceited but it, it really is. Alright, let's see. The logo there. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, I mean, it's just nuts to me. But something like this, it, this is very time consuming as well. And, um, yeah, it's expensive, so it's, this is easily a $100 pipe as well. And as far as stems go, like I don't make stems personally. So when I use stems, I'm using either the Vulcanite stems from uh, that Missouri Mission provides with the freehand pipes um, or forever stems. Now, this is a forever stem. So again, this pipe, um, you know, I'm buying the kit, $10 kit, whatever the bamboo costs. This is the top of a apple, the one I just showed you earlier. Right here this is the top of this so it's just look right there so if somebody wanted me to make this you know it's already 25 uh, honestly 30 bucks with shipping and everything because I don't make money on these if somebody wants hey I want a forever stem I don't make money on that I'm just gonna charge them what the it costs to buy it and ship it and then that's it so let's just say 30 bucks for this 10 bucks for the cop fuller kit so already and then another 10 bucks for this pipe so 30, 40, 50, the bamboo, wherever I can find it, whatever much, let's just say, you know, 60 bucks in materials, and I haven't even started to make this pipe, you know. So then I'm shaping it, and you know, I'm doing this, and it's a lot of work, you know. So honestly, it'd probably be, it should be more than $100, but yeah, so that's why it's 100 bucks. I've gotten some emails um, for this pipe, as far as uh, having it made for them. This is a Fifth Avenue. All right, it's got deer antler, 
do right now the bottom. Harvestim, easily like 30 bucks. The bowl, 10 bucks. The deer antler, uh, I'm gearing it is expensive. You can find it. What to say, 10, 15 bucks easy. Um, so yeah, I mean, add that up. And again, I haven't even started to touch this yet. So this is like a $75 pipe. That's what I usually charge. Cause this is, and honestly, anybody works with deer antler or any horn, more power to you. I freaking hate working with deer antler. It's not fun. It stinks. It's a pain in the butt to deal with me, you know, me personally. So, you know, it's a lot of labor and it's definitely, um, you know, I'm not gonna lie. It's something I don't want to make again that often, <laughs> but yeah. So if it's a commission and it's right, I'll go ahead and make it. But so yeah, this is another pipe that it's on that, you know, higher, higher level when it comes to pricing. So now it jumps up to another level. This level, in my opinion, are the pipes that I don't want to make again. <laughs> okay. Once I finish them, I'm proud of it. Um, there's a lot of fun to make, but it's just way too much work. And it gets to the point to where to charge for the labor that was put into this, these pipes, it just gets too expensive. And in all honesty, it's kind of one of those things where even if somebody said, yes, I will pay for that. I'd almost feel like I'm ripping you off. All right. There's a, the, here's one. This one's the PETA. P I T A, which is pain in the, <gasps> because that's what it was to make. Alrighty. So again, this is kind of like the dinosaur egg. You know, it's got the, uh, where it's two pieces molded, molded together. All right. But this one is a Mark Twain on top and an egg on the bottom. Okay, so it kind of comes to that point. Alrighty. So you can see in there, this is actually corn cob uh, shank in the middle. And it's a good light. It's corn cob shank in the middle. It's plastered, it's stained. And then on the outside, it's kind of a, it's a bamboo cage. All right. See, this is all corn cob. So this this is all corn cob just to fill in this area right here, and yeah. So this is one, probably my most my most challenging pipe to date to make. Um, it, it took a long time. Smoked really well. I smoked it the other day for the first time ever. But <laughs> so yeah, this is you know something like this for labor. For me to charge fairly, in my opinion, for the amount of time that I put into this, I feel like I'm ripping you off, <laughs> to be honest. And on top of that, you know, so it's two pipes, one, two, that's 20 bucks easy. The shank stuff, you know, that's another 15 something dollars. The bamboo, this was such a pain in the butt to do. It's another 15, 20 dollars. You know, the stem, I don't make stems. You know, that's a $10 stem, the corn cob that I use for all the, you know, for everything. So again, cha-ching, 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 it adds up. And then on top of that, the labor takes forever. And then for a pipe like this, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna add a, I don't wanna make this pipe again fee, because I don't. So I don't even wanna say a price for this, but it would have to be something to where I'd be like, okay, cool. Yeah, that much money, I'll make this pipe again. So I, I mean, I hope that doesn't come off wrong, but it's just, it's just so much work, you know, for a pipe like this. Um, here's another one that kind of a little bit different scenario, but this is a corn horn. Uh, it's a Mark Twain. I've smoked this a couple times, but you know, it's concaved in. Um, and this is water buffalo horn, I believe. It was gifted to me by 23Sean on Instagram. Uh, he's a good guy. He makes awesome pendants and stuff like that out of bone. But for example, again, I'm not a bone person. I don't, I'm not like, oh yeah, I can carve this out of antler and blah, blah, blah. No. This, he sent me some pieces and this one just happened to kind of already almost be in the shape. There's very little that I had to shape on this. It's pretty much the, you know, the right here on, on each side that's probably all i had to shape it was already shaped like this though okay so what i did is i worked the corn cob pipe to fit to this piece 
you can, I don't know if you can really tell, but the Mark Twain, it's kind of like, it's shaved down at an angle right here, and an angle right here, to fit the, the, the horn. It's kind of hard to tell, but, you know, so it's not perfectly circled. Um, there's a plug. It's my, old, my old logo is just a D. <laughs> but, so yeah, you know, it's like this. So, I mean, that's, that's a lot of work. And I've had people ask me, hey, can you make this pipe again? And it, yes, this was a lot of work. Um, if you go on my Instagram, you can see kind of how I molded these together and whatnot. But this is a pipe that I can't, you know, I'll be, I'll be honest. I don't, I'm not on that level of shaping horn. If I got another horn that was like, that would work for something like this. Okay, cool. We'll talk about it, you know, but for right now, this just was, you know, the stars aligned for this to be able to be made, you know, but, um, so yeah, this is kind of right now on that level of, I can't make this again, <laughs> you know, and I, and I was honest with them. I'm like, Hey, I'll be honest. I don't have another horn like this. Um, so I can't, this won't, I can't make this right now. Here's another one. I call this the egg stream nose warmer. <laughs> this is the Missouri mushroom egg. Um, it's got the little plug in the back. So you can clean it. So this is a pipe that I made just for myself. This wasn't a cop fullery entry or anything, but I was just trying to make something real nuts. And um, yeah, so it actually smokes really well. But yeah, it's a crazy nose warmer. This will burn your nose up if you're not careful. But something like this, it's, it's, it's just kind of one of those things like I made one and I was like, yes, I'm done. I don't want to make this again. <laughs> Maybe here and there I might get a little itch to do something crazy and I can make something like this, but other than that, it's probably not going to happen again. I mean, it's just kind of in that weird uh, category of I finished it, I'm done. Don't want to do that anymore. Another one that definitely falls in that category of way too much labor involved uh, was this one, CRT which is, stands for Calabash Reverse Tyrolene. Tyrolene? I still don't know how to say that word. But um, if you Google Tyrolene, T-Y-R-O-L-E-A-N, I believe, Tyrolene pipe, you'll kind of see why, where I kind of got the idea from. But, you know, this is a Forever Stem. Um, you know, Forever Stem, Country Gentleman, Couple Recap. It's got the wind cap. Yeah, nice, very nice wind cap. Got some gold accent around here with the where the stem goes. Um, this is actually corn cob that's mold, you know, obviously plastered and uh, molded to another piece. So it's kind of got that. This is a calabash, you know. I mean, this smokes very, very cool. But yeah, something like this, I'm not trying to make again. So not only that, but this bowl can come off. And, oops, I made this little bowl. This is made out of a country gentleman, just cut down, shaved down, and, and uh, shaped. You know, one cap. So this is like if you wanted to smoke, if you don't want to, if you don't want to smoke a big bowl, you know, you can smoke this one. So something like this ton of work I me mean, thinking one two it, just the wind caps you pay for this you pay for that so material alone would be like over 100 bucks and then again I haven't even started to mess with it but um so yeah something like this is definitely in that level of no I don't want to make this again <laughs> I would I wouldn't even say I'd get an itch to make this again this is definitely one that when I was done with it, I was glad. I'm proud of it, very proud of it, I'm still proud of it. But um, yeah, it's just a, a lot of time. Yeah, you know, that's just some examples of, you know, pipes that I've done and just the different levels of, you know, hey, this is why this is a $25 pipe and hey, this is why I don't ever wanna make these again. 
<laughs> type level, you know? And this is why some of these that I still do make from time to time are at the prices that they're at, you know? I just don't want people to think I'm like trying to rip them off or anything like that. It's just, uh, with, with some of these pipes, a lot of work goes into it, you know? And even some little simple, again, my sanding process, it's a lot of sanding and stuff like that. So uh, another thing is the tools that I have. I mean, if you saw the tools that I have, you laugh. I literally have a grinder, a bootleg Dremel, a Black & Decker bootleg Dremel, all right? This is what I use to cut my pipes. I don't have a bandsaw or anything, Alrighty. So, you know, when I gotta cut something, it's wicky, wicky, wicky. You know, some files, you know, some files, you know. Power drill, and that's literally it. You know, I don't have a lathe, I don't have a, a bandsaw, a drill press, a sanding bell, I don't have any of that, you know? So when I'm sanding this up, it's, you know, it's with sandpaper, it's with files. And no offense anybody has that, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I need to get a bandsaw. I mean, there's definitely tools that I need to get and that would help me in the process, but at this point in time, I don't have that, you know? So when I'm molding, you know, balls and stuff like that together, uh, you know, that, a lot of that's by hand and um, it just takes time and I know some people might say well that's not my fault that you don't have the right tools to make it go quicker true but at the end of the day I don't have that so I'm still doing it by hand and with file you know files and sandpaper and stuff like that so it is what it is it's the labor that I put into it I kind of enjoy it at times <laughs> at times I, I think there's just uh, something cool about like I'm saying this by hand you know what I mean I don't know maybe it's just in my head I just feel like I can get a little bit more precise of how I'm winning it the tools that I have the tools that I don't have the time that I put into shaping whatever I mean all that goes into the, the price of labor and again even then I try to be very fair if it was up to my wife you'd be paying $90 for this pipe <laughs> I love her to death and she's very um supportive but she sees you know the things that I make and she's like you need to charge more you know and uh so like even with the volcanoes and something like this she's like why are you charging you know $45 for that it needs to be a lot more because she sees the time that I put into it she sees when I'm, I'm cramping up because I've been standing for so long and you know it hurts you need to charge for real what the labor you put into this so I try to be fair. I try to understand that at the end of the day, it's still a corn cob pipe. But you know, if anything, this video is just made to um, hopefully just kind of give a little bit more insight into what goes into you know a corn cob pipe, a modified corn cob pipe. So that's that. Um, check out my Etsy shop. Uh, Dota of pipes is the name. There's nothing in there right now, but. There will be a couple of Cavaliers in there soon. I think that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the description. If you made it this far, thank you for watching this. And if you don't buy any of my pipes, but you like my pictures or you repost my pictures or whatever, I appreciate the support. And the support. Uh, if you ever bought a pipe from me, I appreciate the support and the business. Um, and I just hope to continue to make these pipes They're a lot of fun. And yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.